Hey there, Dev Central community. Jason Rom here, and we are coming at you from Black Hat 2024, hanging out here in the pathway, one of many, many pathways in this casino. And I'm here with uh, Toby Gaff. Toby, how are you? Hey, good. How are you? I'm um, fantastic. And so, uh, who who do you work for? Why are you here at Black Hat? And and what does uh, what does your company do? Yeah. So I am the director of solutions engineering for Key Factor. Um, you know, our company does. Uh, certificate management and, and uh, you know, key security for uh, digital certificates and management and, and automation across all your devices throughout your enterprise or IoT uh, devices or you know, wherever you need to use uh, machine identity certificates. Okay, and what brings you to Black Hat? Um, you know, it's a great opportunity to meet other people, you know, meet our partners, spend time with people. So, uh, you know, I'm uh, you know, super glad to get to spend time with you guys today and uh, hopefully we can uh, we can show you some cool stuff here. Yeah, yeah, I hear we actually do some stuff together yeah, yeah, uh, between we, F5 and Key Factor. We do, so we do a lot. Yeah, and you're going to show us something of, of one of the solutions that uh, that you guys have and how to manage uh, the um, PKI, PKI uh, certificate infrastructure uh, as it relates to Big IP. Yep. So uh, so we've got a lot of solutions around around the F5 stuff. Uh, we have solutions around Big IP, Big IQ, uh, the web, uh, your know, web stuff. Um, you know, quite a few solutions with integrating with the F5 stuff. Um, a lot of them are really focused around getting visibility and having the ability to automate the certificates on the devices, which you know, we're finding is really, really important. Uh, you know, with all the crypto agility stuff that's going on, you know, people wanting to move to post-quantum, people wanting to uh, you know, migrate from one public CA provider to another. You know, there's a lot of changes in the industry that are kind of making people uh, you know, think about how they're doing the stuff, make some changes, and having that visibility in the automation is really the key to uh, you know being able to do that and and you know have the the tools that you need to make that process easy. Cool. So, so real quick before we jump into demo, um, post quantum crypto, I personally haven't really dug into a whole lot. Can you sure. just give me like a you know elevator summary sure. of post quantum cryptography and what that sure. is and what you know what the implications are? Sure. So you know, Quantum computing is you know, something that's not here yet, but it's coming. Um, and you know, with the current algorithms that are out there, you know, everybody's doing a lot of RSA, ECC. You know, like as you do those algorithms with a post-quantum uh, computing environment, uh, those algorithms can be cracked very quickly. So uh, there's new algorithms coming that are going to be very, uh, uh, very resilient to crypto attacks. Um, in our stack, particularly, um, you know, we have everything from the crypto libraries up through the CA platforms and our key factor command management platform that we're talking about today uh, that is uh, all being updated to support the new algorithms. Uh, the, you know, the new algorithms are coming out from NIST very shortly on what they suggest as you know, where to go. Um, and we're trying to make sure that all our platforms are, are ready to, to go. Um, we also have a, a post-quantum lab that's available. Uh, if you go to keyfactor.com and search for that, uh, you can find that. So if you, uh, any of your viewers want to go out and uh, spend some time looking at that and playing with some of these new algorithms, uh, there's uh, you know, some tools out there that help you generate certificates and, and play with that uh, you know, uh, if they want to do it in their test labs or whatever. Okay, forget you viewers, I'm getting in first in line for that <laughs> lab, so <laughs> I'm just kidding. You you can have uh, the first seat in line, and I'll, I'll I'll come after you. All right, so uh, show me show me what you have. Okay, yeah. So uh, this is our key factor command platform, and you know really the point of our uh, of this platform is giving you visibility and the ability to automate certificates within your PKI environment. So uh, there's you know lots of different things that we do. You know monitoring certificates, monitoring jobs. Um, one of the most important things is gathering a full inventory of all the certificates that exist in your environment. And it, in some environments, this could be literally hundreds of thousands of uh, certificates in the environment. And as those uh, inventories are captured, uh, they uh, pull back all the information, not only for the types of keys that are out there, but where the keys are located. Um, like if they were discovered on uh, specific devices or you know, discovered on an SSL network endpoint, um, you know, something like that, uh, you know, like we capture all that. So um, you can see the list of certificates um, and you know, we integrate specifically with our orchestration platform 
to uh, your F5 appliances or whatever you have out there. So if you think of an enterprise customer that has many F5s, you know, they would have them all connected here, that inventory would be constantly coming in. Okay. So let me show you from, from the F5 pers perspective here. Um, if we go into the, an F5 device, and just as an example, we uh, come in here and say we're gonna create a certificate. So let's just create a self-signed certificate. Um, uh, we're gonna call this, uh, we'll just call it Black Hat, you know, since that's where we're, where we're testing at. And we'll uh, change our alias on this one, or our common name, I mean. Uh, and we will go ahead and uh, create this certificate. Uh, so, I'll say, that, so you created a, a CSR, so yeah, right? Yeah, so it's a self-signed certificate. Oh, you created the certificate? I well, created, not, okay. yeah, I created Not the just whole a thing. request. Okay. So, so it's created as self-signed certificate. So let's say your admin goes out and they, they create a certificate and they're going to spin it up on a website or, or you know, put it on, on uh, one of their uh uh, one of their groups. Okay. Our, our platform uh, will then uh, run an inventory job, and they run you know periodically. Um, I've got this one set for demo purposes to run fairly quickly, um, okay. so it should run a, in a minute or two. Um, and as these run, uh, it will pull up any new certificates that are discovered. So you can see it discovered that Black Hat certificate. So in my Key Factor Command platform, I can see, oh, hey, I've got a new certificate that's out there. Um, and if I go into it, you know, you can see, you know, this certificate has failed validation uh, because it's not issued off of a trusted route. Um, you know, if we look at the locations where it was detected, uh, we can look at it and see that it's on this specific F5 device in the common partition under an alias called Black Hat. Okay. You know, so it drives you right to where, where the certificate is. Um, likewise, uh, we have what we refer to as collections in the platform, uh, which detect, you know, like you can create certificates. So you can do things like alerting and uh, even automation, automated replacement through our workflow engine. So, for instance, uh, I have one set up to detect self-signed certificates. So that certificate came up in that collection automatically. Gotcha. So if I had an alert set up, it would have sent an alert to me saying, hey, new self-signed certificate, you know, detect it and notify it. So if you have rogue operators out there installing self-signed certs on your big, on your big IPs, they've got you covered. Exactly. Um, Not that I ever, ever do that. <laughs> and it happens. Um, and then, you know, our platform allows you to take action on that certificate. So now that it's... Uh, it's detected, it's in the platform. Uh, we can now, you know, if you, let's say we wanted to renew that, um, only we wanted to reissue it off of a root of trust. Um, so we can configure where that certificate comes from, uh, select a different template or CA um, that might be out there, um, and you'll see that the platform says, we know it's out there, so we're gonna install it into its current certificate stores where it exists. Okay. Um, so if we just say, yeah, enroll this one, um, what the system's gonna do now is it's going to enroll for that new certificate based on the same information that it already had on the old one, um, and it's gonna create a deployment job that will then uh, go out and deploy that certificate back onto that F5 device. Now, if that, if that certificate is already attached to like a, an SSL profile and all that, yep. uh, it, it manages that yep. as well, so you don't have to switches, like... Yep, it yeah, all okay. switches awesome. right at the same time. Nice. Because the the certificate that we're putting out there is on the same uh, same uh, name that was the old one was on. Yeah, yeah. And since the you know, the profiles are bound to the names, when we replace it on gotcha. the same name, it's still, okay. on, it's still on the same one. Uh, and I didn't show it as we went through, but there is an option there to select a deployment time as well. So okay. if you said, I want to do this Friday night at midnight, right. you, you could schedule a time to do it. It as yeah. Well. Okay. Um, so let's go back over. Um, you know, these typically run pretty quickly. So let's go back into our certificate management here, real quick, um, and see if this is run yet. I don't know. Yeah. So if you look at this certificate now, now it's been replaced, and it's now this certificate that was off of our oh, yeah. our key factor root of trust. Okay. So automating that replacement back to uh, back to your F5, and you know, and you're doing this on one F5, 
is you're pretty powerful, but when you think about an environment where you've got a wild card certificate deployed to 70 F5s, right. it would have just created 70 deployment jobs at the same time and just deployed them all simultaneously. Yeah, the, so, the fleet implication there is huge. Yeah. yeah, so it can really save you a lot of time. Yeah, when you're trying to and so does that work with the, like Acme protocols as well? So if you like want to do a Let's Encrypt type uh, enrollment and all that? So what I just showed you is specifically through our orchestrator platform, uh, but we do have connectivity for Acme and options for that as well. Uh, if you wanted to do Acme in, uh, we do a lot of that in you know, like DevOps environments, Kubernetes clusters type yeah. stuff where they're doing uh, a lot of that. So we, we support uh, Acme, EST, SCEP, all of that to our CAs and, uh, and our platforms. Okay, great. Well, thank you. That was pretty awesome to see. I know I've, I've built some, you know, code, I control rest things for just, you know, bare bones type technology uh, to be able to manage the certificates on the big IPs. Uh, but, you know, what you're showing it, can you go back to your, um, your sure. environment? Yeah. It's uh, the command um, yeah, environment, yeah, key factor yeah. command platform. Yeah, yeah uh, clearly a, a lot more functionality built into that uh, for you know enterprise purposes. So uh, thank you for sharing that with us today. Uh, enjoy Black Hat and uh, community. We'll see you out there in the community. Take care. Right. Awesome. Thanks, Jason.